Hey Redux Rebels, this is Chelsea Willis. We are here with the amazing Matt Hawkins from Top Cow. How are you doing today? I am doing very good. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. How are you liking the convention so far? Uh, this is my second year and I've, I've really enjoyed it. It's, it's been a pretty amazing experience. The fans here are great. Can you tell us a little bit about how you got um, started with art? I'm actually a writer, but uh, yeah, I, I've been writing comics for about 23 years now, and I started when Image Comics started um, in uh, 1992, and I've just kind of been doing it ever since. I was in college actually working on my physics degree when Image started, so I kind of abandoned all that stuff and uh, went into comics full time. And can you tell us a little bit about the works that have influenced you? Um, I've always been a big fan of science fiction, uh, like Arthur C. Clarke, Isaac Asimov, Ray Bradbury. Uh, those were all the books. Piers Anthony, when I was a kid, I read growing up that were, were big for me. So a lot of the science fiction novelists, 50s, 60s novelists, and uh, uh, in comics, I, I always loved all the original image founders and, and guys like that. Really good stuff. And you're currently working on Think Tank, which has a lot to do with science and government. Uh, how do you think that this book is going to influence future generations? Oh, well, I, I, I wouldn't uh, presume to suppose it would influence anyone, but I, I would hope that uh, my, my goal with a book like that is to sort of clandestinely educate people on certain topics while entertaining at the same time. I think when you when you read something that's entertaining but you learn something, um, I, I always think that's that's cool. And uh, science is something in this country that's kind of been left behind. You know, I mean, so many people bail out on science and math, and it really is two of the fields that are the most needed in the future. So. I found it interesting in that as it transitions, it has the... F equals MA, right. so it's like full speed ahead, let's learn this stuff. Um, any projects that you can tell us about that are besides Think Tank that you're working on? Um, I write about four books right now. I'm working on uh, Symmetry. I work on a book called The Tithe. Uh, the Tithe is uh, about a, a hacker group that robs from like charities and or, or from churches and gives the money to charity, kind of like a modern day Robin Hood. Uh, I do another book called Symmetry, which is kind of a, a utopian future, um, kind of like along the lines of like, like Hunger Games or one of those divergent kind of things. And uh, I do a book called Aphrodite 9, which is about genetically enhanced and cybernetically enhanced humans. So everything I do has some sort of sociological, religious, or uh, you know, scientific thing in it. I, I just I try to, I try to write stuff that I find interesting. Any advice for people that want to get into writing or get into comic books? Uh, I would say write every day. I think the easiest way to get into comics today is to self-publish, to do like a web comic, build an audience that way, and then try to segue into like one of the other companies. So publishing your own, you know, comic book online and trying to build fans and then maybe monetizing it after a few years with a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo, I think is probably right now the best way to get into the business. Anything else that you would like fans to know about? Uh, read, you know. I mean, this uh, especially, especially guys. I mean, girls read the majority of books in the United States, and uh, you know, we need we need people to read. I have two teenage sons, and they don't read much, and I've been trying to get them to read forever. So, read, learn, never give up. Oh, you know, the neuroplasticity of the brain isn't set until you're in your 80s. So, uh, why not try to use it? Always learning something new here with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys keep reading, keep learning. Expand your skill sets. Everyone else, keep it epically real.